In this video, I'll show you how to carry out the crowd operations in Laravel. Welcome to Vaptrix Home. Hey guys, welcome to Vaptrix Home. In this episode, we'll be working on the controllers and carry out the insert, delete and update actions on the database table. In the end, we'll also display the contents with storing the database to the front end. Let's get started. So we've got all the controllers here. Let's do that then. So we'll go with the front controller. I know we're, we don't have much things here, so we'll be doing public function construct this thing. And there will be public function index. That will really nice to give you off. Index. Right. So what we need to do here, we'll do here is slash and then redirect it to front controller at index. Right. This will be the controller and this will be the method name that will be handling this. You are right. So let's see if it works. Yeah, no issues. Same thing for backend as well. So we have the admin controller. We'll be doing the same thing. Public function construct. Let's let's leave this empty as of now. Public function admin let's say and that will be returning us the view of backend dot index right and we have got another thing public function setups written view that's backend and shirt right? setup right so we'll be doing the same thing here admin this will go to admin controller at admin and this will go to Admin controller at that's this setups, right? What we have done so far. So let's check out if everything works fine. First, setups are working fine, and the dashboard is also working fine. That's all we have done. Now we need a new controller, and that will handle the crowd operations. Actually, you can work on the model and create separate controller for each of your models, but I'm gonna mix everything here and this controller and that will be crowd controller, right? So here, public function, let's say, insert data, and this is the method that will hold all the data right so i'll work here i'll send this url to the cloud controller from here and that is not the met get method that will be post method right post method add settings and then controller add insert data so you can go here and dollar data equals to dollar underscore post right and print everything you've got but we're not wasting time over here you can see on my site webricshome.com what you can do with the prod controller so where's this one project Maybe here. So it has got everything you need to know. More or 
Pulse and Vibrations. There must be controller somewhere. Okay. He his the one. Alright. So yeah, I've got everything over here. Insert data. This is the code we need to use. But before before that we'll need this one, right? We'll need to the controller needs to support the request, need to support the input, it needs to use the da database and it needs to use the session, right? So I'll be using all of those here. The request is already there. So we'll use this one, right? And then we can use the code directly from here, right? So we can just simply remove this one, press this one. So it says input accept token and maybe submit as well right and then we've got a lot of things over here that will that i'll define with time for now that's under this much right so everything that comes that will be stored here let's have a look print out all the data so the first thing we'll need is we need to add the CSRF token over here, right? CSRF underscore fill. That gives us a cross site request forgery. Let's do this and go here. So it's a data is does not exist. Admin controller. Oh, delete your admin controller. So this is CRUD controller, right? And it looks like something wrong, undefined variable table. So what I'm gonna do here is what I'm gonna say here, what I need to say here is that we are using the same function for each of tables, right? So what I do here is we send a table as a variable, right? So let's see what how we can do that. Let's see here. Input type goes to text, not text, we'll keep it hidden, right? Name goes to TBL, let's keep TBL only, and then value, let's send a value, that is encrypt, then the table name, what's our table name? That's setups, right? So the same thing will be sent from here. Let's see how the errors appear. Okay, then we have TVL value, undefined variable TVL, right? So there's nothing like dollar TVL over here, it says. So what are you gonna do? What are gonna do is dollar TVL goes to decrypt dollar TVL. All right, so the TVL value is there, dollar data value is there. We need to remove that value, right? We'll use onset dollar data TVL. All right, now let's see what happens. Added in string conversion is insert into setups with uh, address contact email social so there's error in socials right because we have got multiple data and that comes in array right so what you're gonna do here is check if input has social okay if input has social what are you gonna do there must be multiple data so dollar data socials plus two implode sorry implode with comma dollar data social that's all we need to do so once we do that I don't think we'll have any issues here. Let's have a look now. Except for the emails. 
string logo doesn't have a default value, right? So what I said is the aim is so we forgot to add nullable on our database migration file here. This would have field nullable here, but there's no benefit in doing this right now. We have to revert back and then again migrate the file database table, but more easier and convenient that than that would be to go here into the structure and since the structs are from here we can add here no right and then go back so the default value will be null here let's try to add something now okay any errors nothing no errors nothing and even no alerts, right? So let's have a look over here at this data. So the data is here, the data is done, but we want some update, right? And if you see in the crowd controller, we have this session flash here. We don't need this one. Return it back. So we'll go to our setup and we can add a section here. A class goes to call as some twelve, right? And then and alert success. This message and then alert message. Is get where it got there is message, right? Right, but only in the case that if session has masses, right? Has masses and then add in if. Let's have a look. Okay. The session is done. Add a button. Class goes to close. Data. Test message goes to alert. And add something here. At times. Let's add new data. Let's see. Close this one now so that's pretty good but if you look here you'll get a lot of data now so what you want is if you have existing settings data in your web page you don't want to create a new one either you want to delete that one or edit that one modify that one right so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna truncate the table that will make it empty I've got nothing over here right so now we're gonna add original data what do you want over here so let's go to the dashboard and add a title let's say it must be unique single page website the address will be uh, okay same address over here Let's add the same contact number. Same email. Let's say it's unique.com. Then the profiles. Let's say STPS. Dot com slash home another one will be Twitter another one will be LinkedIn and uh, let's say another one is YouTube all right so I'll add the image as well let's get it from 
somewhere. Have we added the section to process image? No, obviously not. But still, we can add the image that will be stored in the database as name only. Right, column not found, unknown column image and field list. Ah, let's say logo, right? Then it goes to logo. I don't want it to make a logo, but instead I'll change it itself into image, right? Because we'll have a lot of images within the page that will help us add data. So the data is added successfully. Let's have a look over here. So the image is here, right? The temporary image location is given. But do we need a temporary image location to process the image? yeah we need it right so let's see what it can do for the image and if we go back here this aim is processing all right and for image processing we can cut this thing private function upload image so you can simply paste it from here this thing so this is the section that will upload the image and give it give it back to us, right? So there will be a section right where we want the image to be loaded in and there's a single code that can give us the image as so we can see use this one instead right okay that looks great so instead of adding the image name only you can go back and add real image now Let's have a look where it comes. But the thing is, I don't want this to be table name over here. I want this to be something else, something different. So what I'm gonna do is check for the table here. I'll check the table name. I'll set another variable. That's dollar TBL, right? And then here I'll be using the same name, dollar TBL. So the TBL only, right? And then here will be slash dollar TBL. So that way, what we can do is we can simply store the images from different tables into separate folders, right? The first thing is name is retrieved from the image, then it's renamed, right? adding date and time in front of the image then the path for the image is defined here so the public path will be there and then there will be a dollar tbl that's the table name whatever comes from the database and then we'll add the new name here and then we'll return the new name right so the new name will be added here so this will return a new name that's all what this will do right while sending the emails data and the table name to this function right so let's have a look how it works first let's make the table empty so the table is empty right there's nothing so let's add the data now same thing site title will be unique single page website and the address will be one of the stress USA contact will be the same and email will be support at unique website 
www.facebook.com so social profile links I'll add something like www.facebook.com slash webbricks home that's my official facebook profile please then let's say that's a youtube then let's say that's the same from here but this time this would be twitter and another one let's add linkedin linkedin and then we've got the emails and that will be the emails and you can from here exact same emails that we've got and update it so the data is updated so let's have a look over here the data must be added and the emails must be here in the public folder let's have a look if we are doing it correct so here's setups and the emails over here okay that's done so what I'm gonna do here is add a little bit of code right that will make it easier and I'll control it from here Tell data equals to we have already used DB over here and we have already used sessions also so DBS table the table name setups get now you can say first because we will get single data only and same as object right so everything set from there now what you're gonna do is we're gonna write a little bit of code over here right so this is the same section only thing is the form right if the data is equals to empty in that case and else right and in if we're copying the same thing with a different style now so if this data will be showing the data here right source equals to what will the source of the emails so the basic root url public table name will be folder name of the setups data emails okay. so logo won't be that big so we will be using 200 over here so if this data that's being shown right so the same thing over here value the data has made a title the data address the data what are you gonna do contact then value equals the data email so everything's fine so far now we have been multiple links what are you gonna do now so how are you gonna portray it on the back end if you have multiple links so the thing we're gonna do here is store here if not empty dollar data dollar socials equals to explode of come right if that's not the case I 
hours. So shows empty, isn't it? So we'll send it to a separate variable. Socials as dollar socials. And then we'll go here. JavaScript to count the number of text box there and then show the buttons and then show the errors everything you want to do but I'm stopping it over here now we'll basically add the content here from the database all right so we'll go to front controller and right here since we have only one piece, we don't need to use construct or we can only use construct. That's all, right? Because we have only one view file. The setups from the student TV is the table. That's setups. First, because there will be only one data, right? And we have already blocked from adding more data here so written view index setups dollar setups all right so we'll go to the index please that's back in okay i don't need the back end index i'll go to the front end index now uh, not this one here right url public slash this will be setups right because it, so it will always come from dollar setups emails and we'll do the same here as well setups setups emails that's all we would have done at the top right so we'll go at the bottom at the contact section and since the data over here so you can basically do this copyright whatever you want right so here will be date why? That's all we need. This, this way. Template by. I don't want to write template, so I'll write tutorial by. Webtricksome.com. Okay. So here's the section. The business name right so we don't want to change the business name that also remains always the same now here we'll add dollar setups address k 
contact email. The forgot to add DV here. Let's add the DV. DV here first. Then let's have a look. So it's showing up everything, right? The logo is being shown. And if you look at the address at the emails that will be from the public folder, okay, the one we've added. And the same thing over here at the bottom. So now we have got socials. So same thing as we did at the admin. And the same thing here instead of data we'll use setups right and then socials dollar socials right so we can add the links from here but what about the icons how would you generate the icons you must need something right here we can do for H dollar socials as dollar icons and the same thing for icons in fact set a separate, separate variable so I'll use icons here and icon over here so I'll do here is icon for store include by dot dollar icon all right so the dollar icon will be the first value first array of the icon so separate www.facebook.com by dot the first value after dot will be Facebook right so that is the icon all right so we can write here icons as dollar icons okay uh, 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 this is not social this is setups right setups social is it okay let's have a look if we can make it it's the thing so i class equals to error with the thing at for its dollar socials as key will need the key over here dollar social it right yes just add the link here sorry dollar social all right so so far the link will work fine okay this is quite good so here's the web on linkedin twitter youtube and facebook right so let's do one thing over here now let's index right so instead of this class let's add dollar icon dollar key only one let's add dollar fa over here dollar icon and then let's print dollar fa okay so we have added this over here and we'll trim these lines Right. Once we have got FA over here, we need 
I fit over here as well. So, links are there. And the classes must be there, right? And that class equals to LinkedIn, Animate, FAF Illustrator. And the same thing will go here as well. Let's see it. Okay, now the icons are done. LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. The address is also fine. So, we have done this part. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you.